right, so, oh man, I, I'm so excited about tonight. We're gonna have an amazing show. Uh, we have a new game tonight that, uh, I am nervously excited for. You'll see why when we get there. Um, yeah, uh, I was trying to think about what to talk about tonight, and there was a lot of things going on in my life. Um, I recently broke up with my girlfriend. Yeah, okay, that was kind of how I felt about it, too. Um, no, it was, it was kind of destiny. Um, she got nosy, and she made the mistake that all girlfriends eventually do, and she went through my internet history. Uh, and it wasn't like the creepy, weird porn or anything like that. It was the number of times per day that I Googled myself. Uh, that just kind of <laughs> turn off, I guess. No, I, 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 I loved her. It was a great relationship. Uh, it was very passionate because she was a fiery redhead. Um, uh, by which I mean I now have a burning sensation in this area. <laughs> uh, I, no, uh, no, no, it was, it was fun. Uh, a lot of my friends, like, so, like, crazy red hair. And my friends would always ask, like, hey, hey, does your car have and drape? I was like, uh, like, you know, nice red hair up here. Uh, but it was darker up here. Uh, and a whole lot lighter down here. So, when we got into bed and things got started, it was like entering a construction zone. Because it was just this bright orange. <laughs> no, I, and of course, it was just a disaster once you passed that. So, <laughs> did I mention that we broke up? Uh, <laughs> no, um, I, see, when we started dating, it was so much fun because I'm a nerd. I am. I'm very awkward when it comes to girls. Uh, and I'll be, sta I'll be with a girl, we'll be out on a date, and it'll be really fun at first, and I'll start to think about it too much. I'm like, this is going really well, I think she's, is she into me? I don't know if she's, okay, maybe she is. Can I hold her hand? Should I hold her hand? Should I, like, put my arm up? Should I offer my jacket? Can I kiss her now? Should I wait until the end of the day? Am I going to kiss her? Am I going to get laid? Oh my god, and, ah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's why I like ChristianMingle.com, because before the date even starts, I know I'm not getting late. So, uh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, with her, it was really nice, because we were on the same wavelength, so to speak. Uh, so we would just be sitting there, and things would be going really well, and there'd be that moment that happens. Guys, you know this moment, where you're just like, this is it, this is my end, this is where it's going to happen. Uh, but then again, I've, I overthink things, and this, here's my thought process as I'm going through it. It's like, oh, this is going really well. Oh my god, I think one of those moments are coming. Oh my god, here's it come. here it is. This is the moment. All right, is this the moment? I want to be totally sure. I don't want to make any mistake. And yep, that's right. That was the moment. That was it right there. Should have done it. Did not. Uh, but no, with her, like, just, it was perfect. We were in sync. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Uh, but no, it was like, we would just be sitting there, and it would just, there'd be a lull, and we'd just go at it, like rabbits, it was awesome. And we would, like, we, the first time we were at her apartment, we're just sitting there having a conversation, and then there was just that sexual tension, and a lull, and we just went at it. And we're just like really into it, like ripping off each other's clothes, and like pulling things off, and then I get to the pants. Okay, if anybody has a suggestion that is better than what I do at this point, uh, because I get here, uh, and then there's no graceful way out of that. Uh, because my next move is this. So where were we? <laughs> no, uh, no, but here's where it gets better, is that it then turned into shower sex. Which, yeah, give it up for shower sex, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Do you want to know what makes shower sex so awesome? It is the most dangerous sex a normal person can have. It is, it is. A majority of all household accidents happen in the shower. And you throw another person in, and acrobatics, and you start knocking over soap, and like pulling down the curtain. And yeah, it is really dangerous. So it's, yeah. <laughs> but no, I... And of course, when I'm in the shower with her, um, and a lot of people ask, oh, so you dropped the soap. And I'm just like, my girlfriend doesn't try to rape me when I drop the soap. No matter how many times I drop the soap. 
apparently 17, she still didn't get it. Uh, no, so that was, that was a fun relationship, but you know, it's time to move on. Uh, yeah, I mentioned uh, ChristianMingle.com, and of course, being a nerd, I do online dating. Uh, and anybody here ever do eHarmony? eHarmony? <laughs> All right, so I'm the weird one right now. <laughs> okay, I'm thank lying. you. Yeah. Uh, has anybody here ever actually gone on an online date before? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I, I recently uh, kind of came across something that when I go out with a girl, like there's red flags going up. And I'm trying to figure out if the girl can pick up on red flags that I put out. So I'll kind of, I know what my issues are, I know what my quirks are, so I try to work them into everyday conversation. So I had a girl say, hey, you seem really nice to hang out with. Uh, you seem like a great person. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's, that's why I talk to myself a lot, too. That's, <laughs> they still haven't figured that one out. Uh, <laughs> No, let's see, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, online dating uh, and eHarmony. I love eHarmony because there's an application process in order to get on the website, which means, well, and I didn't make it the first time. Uh, yeah. I was rejected before I could be rejected, uh, which is a whole new low, but I know where I went wrong. Um, in the application process, my penis is not the answer to the question, what do you desire most in a woman? Uh, which, yeah, just, Guys, single guys out there, just keep that one in mind. Um, I am being single and being a comedian. I travel a lot, and I'll get to I'll get lonely out on the road like anybody does. So what I'll do is I'll take my GPS, I'll set it for like Hong Kong or something like that, and turn the volume way up and just put it in the seat next to me. So I'll be driving to Portland or something like that, and every five feet I'll be like. Take a right at the next intersection. Uh, rerouting. Take a left at the uh, rerouting. And it's just like having my ex girlfriend there. It's awesome. Uh, it, it doesn't go, uh, it goes beep. But it's in that same condescending bitchy tone, you know? Uh, um, yeah, oh, but it doesn't, okay, guys, or, okay, girls, earmuffs. Guys, do you find it ironic that it's a female voice on the GPS giving you accurate directions? I still can't trust it. Don't trust it. Uh, yeah. You lost them. I know. <laughs> See, the guys are too afraid to laugh, too afraid to laugh, and the girls are just like, "Yep, he's single." He's single. <laughs> yeah. No, I when I when I travel, um, especially during the summer, um, when I take a plane wherever, like flights get really boring, so I have to entertain myself. And I created a new game. It's called What Is That Smell? And, <laughs> no, and here's how it works. It's not about identifying the smell. It's about convincing the people around you that what you think it is is that smell. And I was on my way from Portland to L.A., and I won with Spanish rice. That's right, Spanish rice. Yeah. But I was just kind of playing with myself, so it doesn't matter. But then again, don't we all win when we play with ourselves? I mean, come on! Um, yeah. Oh, has anybody here ever joined the Mile High Club? Woo! <laughs> hey, there we go. All right. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Is this your boyfriend? Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep going, man. <laughs> no, uh, I joined the Mile High Club, right? Yeah. Here's the impressive part. I did it single-handedly. <laughs> and no, no, no. It was really hard to do, too, because the stewardess kept walking by saying, Sir, would you like a blanket or something? And I was just like, No, that's okay. I'll just finish in the air sick bag. That's right. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm poor. <laughs> I, um, I was in uh, Portland on my way down to LA before I was doing this, and I was sitting there in the terminal, and I realized that there were a lot of little kids around me. Uh, and I was like, why are so many kids going to LA? And I was like, well, okay, it's spring break, <coughs> Disneyland. They're going to Disneyland. Okay, that makes sense. I've never flown safer in my entire life because God would not take that plane down. There's just no way with so many kids on board. But then I thought he might because I spent the entire time talking as loudly as possible about how Disneyland was closed for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm single, ladies. <laughs> no kids, uh, for probably a good reason. Um, I, I go through phases with like, uh, like Pot, did you guys know that we have 17 dispensaries in Bend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's give it up. Yeah, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
uh, which is awesome. But like, as we okay, it's going to be legal by next year, right? So all these dispensaries are going to become recreational, and anybody can go in buy pot for whatever reason if you're over 21, and which means that the business is going to get very competitive. And up in Washington, they've already like branched out into other things, and there are pot masseuses. Like you can get a massage with THC oil. And uh, yeah, which is awesome. But uh, I kind of asked about it, and I found out that the masseuses give a happy ending. Yeah, that's right. Which, of course, for a stoner, that's waking up three hours later to a cheeseburger. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and a lot of the dispensaries, uh, like, they set very specific rules for this. Um, and they said that no dispensary, like, a dispensary can only be open from 8 a.m. until midnight. Uh, they can't be 24 hours, they can't be really late at night. And I was like, I guess those rules make sense. And I was like, they're being really optimistic opening at 8 a.m. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think noon seems a little bit more reasonable. Um, unless they're offering a, a Grand Slam breakfast. Uh, or late dinner. Yeah, or late dinner, I guess. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, smoking pot. I tend to go through phases when I smoke and drink. Um, so I'll like I'll smoke and smoke and smoke until I do something stupid and I'm like okay, I should back off or I'll drink and drink and drink. Uh, when I was younger, I had a party house. Um, every weekend, everybody came over, different themes, uh, and it was a lot of fun. And of course, college life, if somebody passes out with their shoes on, you have to fuck with them. Like that's just an unwritten rule. And since it was my party in my house, they would let me draw the traditional penis on the face, right? And since I was usually so drunk and not that great of an artist to begin with, I'd have to trace it on there. It's the only way I could do it. And, um, I, yeah, so I was like, okay, probably pull back on the drinking. And then the last time I quit smoking pot, um, I woke up one morning and went over to my friend's house, I was stoned. I woke up one afternoon, went over to my friend's house and started, you know, lighting up. And the alarm goes off on my phone, reminding me of the court date that I had that day. <laughs> yeah, so I had half an hour before I had to be before a judge. It was for a seatbelt ticket. You go in, you pay, you leave. No big deal. So I was like, whew, whew, all right, nod and smile, nod and smile. And I'm doing really well. I'm right in front of the judge, doing really well. And then we get to the end, and the judge asks, do you understand? Okay, now, how do you refer to a judge? You refer to them as? Your Honor. Your Honor, yes. But this was a female judge, and I was high. So I'm quickly trying to come up with what you call a female judge, and she asks, do you understand? And I said, yes, your majesty. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, that is kind of why I've cut back on smoking pot. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the show.